Oops, sorry about that. Every time it get like thousands and thousands, it cut off. But I'm just saying all that to say this, and I'm a close man. Uh, and that was just my response to those ladies that came on my Facebook page and antagonized me about how I talked to my grandson. Hell yeah, I talked crazy to my grandson. I, you damn right I talked to him crazy. I talked to all of them crazy. And they fine. I tell children what they need to know. And I said what I said. Grayson been here. Grayson been here one year and four months and got one spanking. One. Ain't no child being abused, emotionally abused, mentally abused, nothing. He eat good. Hell yeah, I don't mind getting fussed at while I'm getting some damn pancakes and sausage. Yeah, I'm talking, I, I wasn't even fussing at him. I just talk crazy to him like that. And Grayson don't give a damn because Grayson know we're going to wrestle later on. He know we're going to play later on or whatever. You know, that's what, that's one of the reasons why a lot of men don't, don't even be wanting to be bothered. You know, trying to dictate how a man interact with a little boy or whatever. I promise you by the time Grayson graduated high school, he going to know how to change the oil, change the tire uh, or whatever. And I'm just straight up. I say what I need to say. I'm a man. I don't, I'm not in the business of being kid, friends with kids. That's not the business that I'm in. Parenting is not a popularity contest. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm not and I'm not in the business of appeasing fans and and you know, uh not raising my kid the way he need to be raised to keep you from being in your goddamn feelings. You go raise you go hug and kiss your grandbaby and talk to him soft and kiss him in the mouth and go get him a couple of earrings and let him wear his pants and, and then he ordering you around. See what I'm saying? My grandson don't even get to tell me what he want for breakfast. Or whatever. Whatever I fix, that's what the fuck he gonna eat. Period. I'm not a waiter. I don't have no menu. What you want for breakfast, Grayson? Well, what you want for lunch? No. Whatever I fix, we gonna bless it and eat it. I'm not a waiter. I'm not gonna be going through all of this stuff. This kid want cereal. This kid want grits. Or what? Hey, whatever I cook, we gonna bless it and we gonna eat it and be thankful for it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't play that shit with kids. I don't do it. And there's a lot of nieces and nephews that don't, don't come over here because they don't like my, my way of, of, uh, my boundaries and my way of, of handling stuff or whatever. It is what it is. If you want a good meal, some knowledge, some tough love, some love, a good education and learn how to be a man or be a good woman, this is the place to be. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this since I was 15. I'm the oldest grandchild. I had to help my grandmama with the other grandkids or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is. And I'm going to tell all women, if you got an uncle, if, 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 if any man, if the kid dad ain't in his life, if any man willing to step up to the plate, you know, and, and try to be something to your child, let them have their own relationship. Pull them to the side and stop undermining men and telling them, you know, pull them to the side and have a conversation. And a man will tell you, say, well, hey, this is how I get down. This is how, this how I talk to kids. This is how I get down. Here's my rule or whatever. Okay, cool. Whatever you decide to do, okay, cool. You understand? Just don't put nobody with no child that, that you know that they don't love them. You understand? So... You know, that that's 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 what it is. And and that's that's what he get in this house. I talk I if you don't like the goddamn video, don't watch it. That's how I talk to Grayson. So when Grayson gets sixteen and his ass bigger than me and stronger than me, he know what it is. I ain't got to wrestle with him when he's sixteen and seventeen years old. I'm establishing a certain thing in him now. So, so if you want to be your kid's friend, be your kid's friend and let them tell you what to cook and when to cook it and let them tell you that they ain't going to eat and they ain't ready to eat and all that kind of stuff. But don't no nigga run this house, not this one, whatever I say, go in here, period, point blank. And I'm just old school and ain't nothing wrong with it. I love the way my granddaddy, whatever my granddaddy cooked, that's what we ate. My granddaddy was awesome. My granddaddy wasn't abusive. My granddaddy used to talk to me like that. And everybody need to talk to these little boys tough. And then now they walk around here sensitive in their feelings and, and, and listening to Janae I. Eco 
grown ass little boy with tight skin and jeans on, pants sagging, and don't even know how to shake hands, don't know how to introduce. Grayson would give you a full handshake right now at almost four years old. He would extend his hand and he would squeeze your hand and give you a firm handshake right now. Raise no, raise no little, little chumps in here. Everybody here done played football, baseball, educated, or whatever. You know, that's, that's just what it is up in here. So don't ever come on my page and tell me how to raise no child. You raise yours. You worry about yours. And you ain't in a now nigga on here in a position to judge me. You ain't got to, you don't have a heaven or hell to put me in. You know, understand that. Now, if you want to go and antagonize men, that's trying to do the best they can with their kids and, and grandkids. And that's a grandkid. He don't have to be here. Why do you think he here? His mother asked me. You know what his mother said to me? I want him to be with you because the way you raise kids is something special. I like the way I was raised. I like the fact that you tough and that you talk crazy to me. And I think that's what my son needs. That's why he here. Because she think he'll have a better chance over here with me. That's why. You know what I'm saying? So that that that's just what it is. And we just need to get into tough parenting and stop worried about some kids feeling and stop letting all these talk show hosts and, and different ones sit up there and tell you about discipline and structure. You know at work, but you look at your life. So if you want to antagonize somebody, go and antagonize a deadbeat dad, somebody that ain't in their child life or whatever. You understand? Uh, being a, a grandparent is a time, like that lady said on that video, I supposed to call for my grandkids and get my grandkids on the weekend when I feel like being bothered or whatever. I done raised all my kids. Everything, I raised all those kids and they grown and they out of the house. It's time for me to have a good time. And I already, and I got a two-year-old that's about to be four. So it's a blessing for him to be here. I ain't mad that he, he ain't no problem being here. He be with Miss Pat most of the time. And my sister most of the time. But when he with me, that's what we do. That's our relationship. We don't do nothing but play, fight, and wrestle all day. He's not being being mistreated. Stop letting all that stuff just because they cute. All of them cute when they small. Shit, wait till they get 16, 17, and they start growing hair under their arms and around their balls. Their whole personality change. So if you don't establish that now and start laying down a foundation, some rules and some regulations, some discipline, some structure. They need to know your ass half crazy for, in order for them to respect you. Go ahead and be friends with your kid if you want to. See what happens when they get 17 and when they don't get, get what they want. You see all them, I just showed you in the other video, all them degrees on the wall back there. All them degrees on the wall. One of them a Q. One of them probably about the, one of my daughters about the, I'm sure cause cause her mama Greek, so I don't wanna say nothing cause I don't wanna make a hell for her online. But she about to do something next semester. And 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 that's what it is. And all of them gonna be educated. I don't I don't I don't play that in this house. I believe I am a firm believer in education. It's just certain things about education that you don't do. So, you know what I'm saying? So if any uncle, any coach, any pastor, anybody decide that they want to step up and be a part of your child's life or whatever, man, don't undermine them. Don't, don't let, let a man be a man and let a man, it's rough. Yeah, we rough with them. Oh my God. I had a, um, a aunt over here and Grayson fell and he hurt himself. It wasn't, wasn't bad. Just a simple fall like all the boys fall. She about to have a damn fit. I said, hey, hey. He's fine. So I went over there and said, hey, all right, come on. Get up, get up, get up. All right, jump on back in the swimming pool. He got up and jumped in the swimming pool so quick, he forgot that he fell. And he, he like, I'm, I'm okay. But if you go over there, oh, my God. Oh, my God, he fell. Oh, now the baby. Oh, oh, all that shit. Hey. Hey, get on up. You good? You straight? All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Jump on back in the pool. Do Now he jumped back in the pool. He done forgot about it. Now he having a good time. He ain't thought nothing else about it. Sitting up there making, making, making these little boys soft. And then you get mad when you see a man and antagonize and try to undermine men.
And I'm going to always speak out against you because it's just ignorant. So have a blessed day. And I do, I got a whole, now, now the way I raise my girls, and I don't talk to my girls like that. I'm like, good morning. How you doing? And I talk a little shit to them, but I don't talk heavy like that to the girls. But them little boys, you can ask Brandon, you can ask all three college athletes that was raised in this house how I talk. They're like, oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> my coach be, coach be cussing my son. I be all in his face, cussing him out, going off and all that kind of stuff. Man, my son is unfazed by that stuff. My son be about to like, my son went to military school. And that man be all, was, Sergeant, he said when he first got there, all in his face, man, it didn't phase my son because he was used to it. And now he on the basketball team at Alabama State, and he's unfazed. So that's what it is. You understand? So, all right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Let's go Cleveland Browns, and let's go Cowboys. <laughs> y'all have a blessed day. Rude.